morning students in the previous video session you have gone through this uh, free body diagram and uh, the discussion on newton's laws and uh, today you can see a uh, very important question particle moving in an inclined plane actually this is a very important question previously some exam they asked this question but uh, it is not book back question it is a book inside question so you can mark this question as very important question and uh, study this it is a important uh, five mark question particle moving in an inclined plane actually assume that uh, this is a inclined plane okay inclined plane inclined plane means what uh, you know okay so this object is kept uh, at an angle this is what inclined plane and on this inclined plane one mass is kept like this this is a mass one mass is kept uh, this is a smoothless surface uh. so when a mass is kept on this inclined plane you know that it moves with an acceleration a so this direction it will move so if you are drawing a free body diagram i will show you how a free body diagram drawn for this so you know that the acceleration is towards the downward direction and uh, assume that one mass is kept on an inclined plane on a frictionless smooth surface now the force acting on this object uh, is decided by this acceleration of the object uh, and the speed of the object first thing acceleration and uh, speed so the force is decided by the force acting on this object is decided by this acceleration of the object and the speed of the object uh, when it reaches the bottom part now you see what are the forces acting on this what are the forces will act like? if a mass is kept on this inclined plane there must be a downward force gravitational force we know that mg there must be a downward force so if there is a downward gravitational force there must be upward normal force so this is what are the forces acting on the object so what are the forces acting so forces acting on the object is the first one is downward force mg gravitational force and the second one is normal force perpendicular to this inclined plane so if you are drawing another diagram we can consider this mass as a point mass now you see i am considering this mass as a point mass <coughs> now so this direction is what the acceleration to downward is mg gravitational force upward is normal force now what is happening means this normal force is perpendicular to this inclined plane now this mg is splitting into two component one is mg cos theta and another one is another one is mg sin theta so like this uh, uh, if you are drawing a free body diagram it will be like this we can consider this mass as a point mass point object uh. now downward uh, mg then normal perpendicular to the plane okay this is a free body diagram for this so assume that this is a mass of the object uh. now from this mass of the object some force is acting downward gravitational force is acting 
upward normal force is acting now this gravitational force is resolving into two components mg cos theta and mg sin theta why this mg cos theta and sin theta means this mg cos theta is to balance this normal force and mg sin theta is to balance this acceleration so this is what uh, you can explain about this thing now this is a what diagram free body diagram of this one now we can calculate by using this you know this thing uh, i will show you one more thing this is an inclined plane this is a mass this is a normal force and this is a gravitational force and this mg is splitting into two component mg cos theta and mg sin theta parallel component and the perpendicular component so that is what the gravitational force mg is resolving into parallel component mg sin theta and perpendicular component mg cos theta now the angle made by the gravitational force with the perpendicular to the surface here you see here there is an angle made by this plane and uh, now you can apply the newton second law on y direction y direction means uh, in textbook it is given this is x direction this is y direction x y so this normal force is in y direction mg cos theta in y direction so this is positive y axis this is negative y axis if you are taking the unit vector for y axis positive y axis j you can use for negative y axis minus j you can use now we can apply the apply Newton's second law in y direction. We know the Newton's second law. What is Newton's second law? F is equal to F is equal to ma. So if you are taking that down, you see F equal to ma. And here, what are the forces acting on the object? Huh? I said in y direction what are the things this is what in y direction normal force acting in positive y axis so j vector and uh, opposite to this so opposite to this minus so total force is this is a total we have to find out the total force it is like that uh, this is normal force this is mg sin theta cos theta and i said that the i said that the, this normal force is in positive y direction positive y direction means we can use vector j this is minus y direction so we can use minus j unit vector now i am finding the total force total force is this direction mg cos theta mg cos theta unit vector minus j i am taking this minus here now you can put here minus j in bracket now plus this opposite direction plus uh, n j equal to this direction no acceleration acceleration on this inclined plane is what all only downward direction x direction in y direction there is no acceleration so m into zero no acceleration now you can write this this minus will come here minus mg cos theta 
j unit vector plus n j unit vector is equal to 0. Now from this equation you can compare this uh, before comparing you can uh, compare the component uh, compare the component means you can remove this component unit vector so you can write the minus mg cos theta is plus n is equal to 0 so n minus mg cos theta equal to 0 n equal to mg cos theta so my dear students you see again applying the newton second law on y direction so f is equal to ma and f i am finding f i am finding means this f is the total force we have to take so total force acting on the y direction is one direction minus mg cos theta another direction only n so here mg cos theta in minus j direction plus n is in opposite direction now this minus j i am taking outside so mg cos theta j unit vector plus n j vector is equal to zero from this comparing the component you can just remove this uh, uh, unit vector and uh, this is what minus mg cos theta plus n is equal to zero so i am rearranging this equation so n minus mg cos theta equal to zero and n is equal to what i got uh, mg cos theta now what i am going to do is applying newton's second law in x direction in the x direction you know that now x direction what are the things x direction only mg sin theta sin theta and uh, this is mg sin theta here i will show you this diagram this is mg sin theta and this is in the x direction positive x direction so we can use i i unit vector i unit vector now i am applying this so mg sin theta i unit vector is equal to acceleration m is there acceleration is there acceleration also which direction acceleration the same x direction positive x direction so i unit vector so mg sin theta is equal to ma you can write by comparing the component we are removing this component and mg sin theta is equal to ma so mm cancel so g sin theta equal to a or a is equal to g sin theta this is equation one this is equation two now by using this equation we have to find out the speed of the object when it is reaching at the bottom so that you can use the equation v square is equal to u square plus 2 a s from kinematic equation newton's kinematic equation v square is equal to u square plus 2 a s so v square is equal to u square plus 2 a s here we know that the initial velocity u is equal to 0 and the final velocity the speed of the object reaching to the bottom we have to find out so that the v square is equal to 0 plus 2 a s now we know that a is equal to we got the g sin theta from equation 2 so g sin theta so v square is equal to 2 into g sin theta into s so v square you can write uh, 2s g sin theta so v is equal to root 2s g sin theta 
This is equation we are using to find out the speed of the object of reaching the bottom of the inclined plane. It is one of the <coughs> very very important to find mark question. So first thing particle moving in, in an inclined plane. How we are starting means let us assume an inclined plane and on that inclined plane one mass is kept uh, and uh, now this mass is moving downward direction in a frictionless smooth surface. Now the force on this object is decided by the acceleration of the object and the speed of the object. Now the forces, what are the forces acting on this mass? The forces acting on the mass are, what are? Yeah, downward force, downward force and the upward force. Downward force is mg, gravitational force and the upward force is normal force. Now you can draw a diagram for that uh, you can consider this uh, mass as a point mass when we are drawing you see from this mass downward force is mg upward force is normal force which is perpendicular to this plane perpendicular to the plane means 90 degree to this plane normal force now you see what is happening means here this uh, mg mg is uh, resolving into two components parallel component mg sin theta and the perpendicular component uh, mg cos theta now next thing uh, we have to apply newton's second law in y direction when we are applying the newton's second law in the y direction we have to take this one when we are taking this this is in positive y direction axis this is in negative y axis so for positive y axis you can use j unit vector negative y axis you can use minus j unit vector from that we are taking newton second law f is equal to ma total force i am finding so this direction mg cos theta into minus j these are the total forces then plus what are this normal force mg and acceleration is zero and uh, while comparing the component we will get the minus mg cos theta plus n is equal to zero rearrange this equation n minus mg is equal to mg cos theta equal to zero you can write from this equation n is equal to mg cos theta now y direction finished now applying the newton second law in x direction x direction means we know that of this direction so mg sin theta is there acceleration is there acceleration also in the positive x direction mg sin theta also positive x direction positive x direction means we have to take i the component value unit vector value is i unit vector so i am taking mg sin theta i unit vector is equal to m acceleration in i direction so comparing the common and the, so mg sin theta equal to ma will get the mm cancel g sin theta is equal to a i will get so a is equal to g sin theta go to now i am finding what is the speed of the object to reach uh, for this mass to reach this bottom what is the speed that i am finding by using the kinematic newton's kinematic equation v square is equal to u square plus 2as here we know that the initial velocity is 0 u is equal to 0 <coughs> so that now v square is equal to u is 0 0 plus 2as now acceleration we know a is equal to g sin theta so v square is equal to 2 into g sin theta into s so v square is equal to 2sg sin theta v is equal to root of 2st sin theta and my dear students you can take a screenshot of this okay that will be helpful for you you can take a screenshot it is one of the very very important five mark question from this third unit of uh, this is the first five mark important question in this unit 
so it is one of the very important five mark question so all my dear students you take your notebook and do this as your homework you write this in your notebook when you are coming to zoom up class i will ask you whether you have completed this or not so remember this is your homework particle moving in an inclined plane that is what the tomorrow's homework so all of you complete this work study this if you have any doubt in this question you can ask through zoom interactive classes and uh, again remember it is one of uh, the very very important question in this unit and uh, i hope you all are doing well and be safe thank you all bye bye